Okay. Harmony Premier or P Harmony uh, Premium has the ability to import 3D objects, which gives you an easy, quick way to do reference sketches, especially for animations. Now, one of the best sites, free sites, for getting quick animations that you can use for references is Mixamo. Uh, you do have to log into it. Uh, do you, you can use any of your emails, use your personal account for doing it. So I have picked a guy here, and I'm going to try and get it to do something. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so I've got a guy here, and the next project that we're going to be doing when we get back from spring break is doing a complete turnaround of a character. Well, it'd be nice to have a reference for doing that. So I'm going to apply the guy turning. Huh, how creative. So there he is, turning around. Once I'm happy with the animation, and there's tons of it, I just did a search on turn, but there's a lot of different turns up here. Choose the turn that works for you. I can download this. I want the FBX with the skin. The skin is the mesh, the character. How many frames per second? I've got it set at 30. I'm gonna drop that to 24. Uh, no keyframe reduction, that's fine. Click on download, and it is downloading it. There it is. So now I have a right turn FBX in my download folder. I'm going to jump over here to Harmony, and I'm going to start a new project for, and I'm calling it 3D Character Import. And I'm going to create that. go and I want to import this character now warning when you first import the character they're going to show up as a static object let's do that so file I'm going to import 3d model now it does not have to be an animated character it can be a full scene it can be an environment a bedroom setting um, a kitchen a living room a street scene, whatever you need to do, whatever you're using for creation. You can animate either by drawing on top of it or use it as your background in your scene. Either is fine for what we're doing with our projects in here. So you get a mix of 2D and 3D that way. Just simplifies your life. Okay, so I'm importing my 3D model and I'm going to Find it, right turn, there it is, open. Uh, create layer, yes, create single layer named right turn. That's okay, not a great name. Uh, click on okay, and it comes in absolutely huge. So let's scale him down. Oh, I'm on the drawing layer. I'm on the wrong layer. There we go. Now we can scale him down. I scaled him down. Apparently, I messed up on my scaling down. Let's undo that. All the way back to he no longer exists. I'm going to import him again. Import 3D model, right turn, okay. Now, selecting my right turn layer, and I'm gonna scale it down. There we go. Uh, currently, I'm, look, he's, I'm gonna rotate that. Now, when you've got a 3D object in there, you can rotate them on any of the three axes, X, Y, or Z. 
So I have it all available based upon that first view. And so I can move him around until I'm happy with it. Not happy with it yet. So, yeah, that's not great, but it's in there. I'll play with that more later. The, the, the main thing is that we, we got him in there. I've now got that reference image, and I can use all my controls to move it around inside the environment, whatever I need to do to it. So rotate, place, scale, and we've got all of that. Next thing we need to do once we've got our right turn selected, as I said, right now it's not showing any animations. I'm going to go to my X sheet. And again, notice on my X sheet, everything is just simply number, labeled as name number one. I'm going to right click on that. And I'm going to go down to Exposure, and then Sequence Fill. And this is what I want it to do. Um, for this, I need to make sure that I've got my starting value, which, which is frame one. How quickly do I want to increment this? In other words, how many steps do I want in my 24? I'm going to go with two. I don't need it frame by frame. So I'm going to go on twos. Um, hold, we'll leave it two, and I want to set padding, turn that on, and type one comma, and you'll see why in just a second. One comma for padding. Click on apply, give it a little bit of time to work, and okay. Now, you can see he turns around. I've got the animation. Now, like I said, I still need to fix the scaling on him a little bit, clean that up a little bit. Notice over here, I only had one frame. I only did one second of this, so the rest of these are empty. But up here, I had this do this every other frame. We did it in two step uh, twos. It's got one comma three, one comma five, one comma seven of the animation. So when I added the padding, it kept the one comma and added what frame we were at in the animation sequence. Now I can go to my drawing layer and draw on top of him. Use him as a reference for my turnaround. As I said, after spring break, we will be doing a turnaround animation. So you'll need all the different views of the character, all the different side things. This is an easy way to do that. If you use your reference images, and we've talked about reference images in the past, if you use reference images to do your drawing, it dramatically speeds up what you're doing for the entire process. Okay? So, your project, now hold on, let me pause the recording. <laughs>